Hello and welcome back to Pandemic Playground with Dave. So today we have another experiment for you guys and that is playing around with drones with autopilot. Alright, so drones with autopilot is a fairly easy thing to do. Um, it works for the most part in single player offline mode basically. And in multiplayer or online mode it does work but I think it does kind of create issues here and there but for the most part it works out pretty well in you know offline so first things first of course to do a drone system you don't necessarily need a cockpit or a control seat or anything like that as we probably all already know but for those of you who are kind of new to the game or haven't used these things all you really need is a remote control an antenna that you can get into the system and also the remote control it is what controls the autopilot piece so if you go to the remote control it's name reference based on what this system has but it's a pretty much a remote control and autopilot button right here and you have to set some waypoints so it can go there whether you want to patrol or not so simple things like that um pretty intuitive to get it to work for the most part but doesn't seem to work always so a simple drone system like this would actually be setting up two waypoints. I have go one and go two, which you'll see right here. Go one is this point right in front of us. And then go two is this point over there. So with these points and the way we have the autopilot on basically helps it to go from one end to the other end and back and forth. So going back to it, basically in the remote control itself, we put all part on, we put collision avoidance, usually so it avoids from colliding with stuff, but you can technically turn it off too. It doesn't really matter when you have a waypoint such as this, but if it's behind a mountain or rocks, whatever, then you kind of want to have that on. So don't smack right into the wall or a mountain there. All right. So next up is the flight mode. This right now is on patrol. You can do circle, do one way. It's all kind of what it, it is, what it means. D different directions of how to get there, the speed, so you can slow it down. And again, this is the waypoints, put everything down here. And this is where all the GPS locations that you have in place. So you can add these into the waypoints here for it to go there. And you can add a lot, so not too, too crazy. All right, so that's a simple drone system. Works out fine. This system has no seat or anything like that. It used to have a toilet seat, but it's not there anymore. So that works out. It flies back and forth, back and forth, no issues. I think one of the biggest issues that you might run into when you're creating a drone system with autopilot is when you make it a little too low in terms of the GPS. So I'm gonna do GPS low here, get to our drone system, the toilets one. And what we're gonna do is add that low marker right there and have it travel to that point so sometimes not always for whatever reasons if it's too low it kind of freaks out a bit and does not decide to go to it so right now it's going to it was going it went to point one but now it's going to go to now it's going to go towards a low i believe and i have avoidance collision off so it's definitely gonna hit the ground if it's too low let me turn this off turn it back on here we go. Now we're going to the waypoint low, as you see here. But we're going to put collision avoidance on so it don't smack the ground because it's too low to the ground. But we'll see what happens. So sometimes I found when it's too low, it definitely doesn't really necessarily want to go there. and Or it, once it get there, it gets kind of stuck. So as you see here, it's trying to make its way down. But it doesn't really want to in some ways. So it's just circling around, trying to decide what to do. So that's a bit of an issue there. And I think if you give it enough time, it might eventually make it, but maybe not. But if we turn collision avoidance on, it may just hit the ground pretty hard or it's going to stay the same. I think it's going to stay the same. It's going to freak out. It doesn't know exactly what to do. Oh, no, it's going to go down and <laughs> hit the ground quite hard. So then once it hits the ground quite hard, 
it depends on the, I guess it might depend on the remote if it's touching it or not. But it looks like it met the requirements of that waypoint. So that's interesting. At one point I tried it and it really didn't want to go any lower. And it just pretty much caused a big problem and just got stuck there. So I guess that kind of works out. So good test to know that that will work. Which is good. So a basic drone with all thruster directions except for, well, I'm in a uh, gravity planet, so I don't have a downwards thruster. So that's what it is. And it works out fine. So the next thing naturally I want to try, of course, is a rover system. Can a rover system um, be controlled to have autopilot? I mean, when you go into the remote control of a rover or any kind, you see that it says it controls thrusters, controls wheels, and everything like that, right? So naturally, you think it would work, but it just doesn't. So for an example, here's Rover 2. Um, there's a Rover 2 waypoint, which is right there in front of us right now, right? And if we put it on remote control, and we already set the waypoint already, and we have autopilot on and avoidance or anything like that, or even position mode, it's not moving. <laughs> so it seems like a drone, a rover drone with autopilot doesn't work whatsoever. Unless I'm doing it wrong, please let me know down below so we can kind of figure out how that all works out. So this is only going one way, but any way you do it, flight mode, not gonna do anything. I know it says flight mode, so that means it's not gonna control the wheel, I would think, right? And then you can change like back and forth. It doesn't make a difference. So what I try to do instead is actually maybe get rid of the friction. Maybe that would help spin it a little bit. But that doesn't do anything either. So the last thing to do was kind of play around with propulsion. Over, um, propulsion override. So if I do propulsion override, if you put it a little bit, you can actually see it start turning a bit, which is doing something. But the problem is it doesn't know where it's going or what it's trying to do. So, as you see here, it's just spinning in circles. And it may only be spinning in circles because of the way, um, you know, propulsion override works with these types of wheels. So you see one of them spinning back. It looks like it's kind of spinning backwards and the other one's spinning forward. That's probably why it's causing it to spin. I'm not too sure. Um, that's what I kind of thought. But let me see if I can turn off the remote control and off the autopilot and see what happens. The autopilot's off. I have the propulsion override on. Yep, so it's not the remote that was doing it. It is just generally the way it's working. I do have them on left and right wheels, but I think if I do left and left wheels, it might actually work a little bit better. Maybe. But it seems like this didn't work out <laughs> as I thought it would. So, yeah, remote control on a rover just doesn't seem to work because I think it needs some thrusters. So this guy here has all the thrusters you need going forward, backwards, left and right. The only thing it doesn't have is upward thrusters or downward thrusters. So with the thruster involved, I think that's what's going to make it work a little bit better. So this one is this here. And here's the remote control. Yeah, so we put autopilot on, we can leave Collision on or off doesn't matter, but it looks like once I turned it on, it just sped off on its own. And I believe it is. Oh, now it's kind of confused. So when you turn when I turn it on, it just sped off for whatever reason. But you turn it off, it's it's stays still. So we turn it on, it's gonna go crazy. So it's supposed to go to go rover, rover one, and then rover two waypoints, which are, which I think <laughs> one of the waypoints don't exist anymore. So let me just do this. Again, get rid of this one here. Okay, so rover one, rover two is where we want to go. Autopilot with the collision avoidance on. And it's still freaking out a little bit. Doesn't know exactly what to do. But another thing I didn't mention what I did with this, it's actually remove some friction from the wheels. So we eliminate all the friction and do a remote control. You turn off of um, collision avoidance it actually works well but that's because there's no friction on the wheels so it's just gonna kind of work out like it's floating or hovering or whatever the case is 
So you see here, it's patrolling rover one and rover two waypoint, and it it once it reaches there, it spins out a little bit, and you'll see that the wheels are not moving whatsoever. So if we were to try to, you know, kind of mimic it actually working, we could put a little bit more friction here. Um, let's say ten percent maybe, and see if that works. And as it, as you see here, it's not really touching the ground, and it's not doing anything in terms of the wheels, but the thrusters are pulling it and moving it pretty well. So if you did like before 15, the wheels will start spinning a little bit, but it can cause an issue where the gyro can't spin the wheels and turn the whole thing around. So as you see here, it's just freaking out a little bit and trying to turn and eventually it works out pretty well. As you see here, the wheels are not really spinning that much, so it's not working as it should or ideally. So I, what another thing I did was basically pr play around with the propulsion over right here. So if you just spin it or have it spin, it kind of fakes, makes a fake kind of rotation on the wheels. So because it has no friction really to do anything. So that's probably your only good way of making a rover wheel uh, move as with autopilot. So if you guys found another way to doing it, let me know. I, I feel like I've tried this before many times. Never got successful. Never was successful without thrusters. So I do think you do need thrusters and in different points. So you need forward, backwards, left and right for the most part. So this guy is going to run around like this pretty well. So naturally I thought maybe if it doesn't work with wheels, let's try it with something else. So I took this guy here. Same kind of the same little rover. Put some hover engines in the bottom. It's the, the hover engine mod. And it works out pretty well. So same exact thing, just no wheels, same waypoints. Well, three. So same remote control with three different waypoints. It's going to be here, there, and there. It's just going to patrol it, and it just works out pretty well. So I was hoping that it worked out well because it didn't have the wheels to kind of prevent it from doing anything. And yeah, it is. It's working really good. And the thing about the hover engine is that if you hit it space, it does fly up a little bit too. So it gives that point, uh, uh, it gives the vehicle availability to go up and down different terrains. So that's a good thing about that. So yeah, if you want to use the hovercraft mod with thrusters and also autopilot, this drone system works out pretty well. So what else can we try? Let's try vector thrusting. All right. So this is the latest vehicle that I made in the time lapse series. Um, which didn't live too long and luckily i was able to back it up because i originally didn't back it up but anyways vector thrusting with remote control and autopilot does it work the answer is no <laughs> so right now i have it going to go here and come back which is this point right in front of us let's go here and then we're already on come back so with remote controlling this guy it doesn't work at all so even if we're in the remote control as you see here we have our waypoints go here come back we have our flight mode forward patrol we can try one way put all of autopilot on and then if you have collision avoidance off what it does with vector thrusting is this it just spins around a little bit moves a little bit but nothing too crazy as you see here so it definitely can't control vector thrusting. And then if you put on the collision avoidance on, it's just going to wig out a little bit in terms of the thrusters, but nothing's going to happen. You put on autopilot, whether collision avoidance on or off, it does move as you see here, but it's not going to the next waypoint, which was right over there. <laughs> so we can change the waypoints a little bit too, if you want to. So if we say we want to have it go from where we are right now is come back. Let's just remove this one and go to rover or anyone anyway, rover one let's just say right and then have it pretty much go one way patrol it doesn't really matter and as you see here not doing too much <laughs> the rover one is that point right there this is come back and it's not going anywhere the so vector thrusting 
with autopilot just doesn't work out. So that was a fun little experiment to see, but I, it makes sense because it just doesn't know how to use the script, I guess, and kind of start using the um, rotors to maneuver the thrusters a little bit better. So yeah, I mean, this was a quick little experiment that I just had to try and try to figure out some droning system ever since doing the time lapse video with the unknown signal pickup um, ship. And for whatever reason, maybe it's multiplayer or the GPS pointer was way low to the ground once the unknown signal hits the ground. That it just didn't want to go there. It just was like, it just started wiggling, didn't move at all. So once I tried offline mode and, and as an experiment, it seems to work okay. So once again, your regular drone system will work fine as long as you have all different thrusters on the different directions. It'll work fine. Um, for a rover, you have to add thrusters with friction to be fairly low so that you know you let only the thrusters take care of everything. I guess the wheels just to kind of support it so it don't crash the hit crash and smack the ground too hard. And what's cool about it is the hover engine mod works really well with it actually. So you can make a nice little drone system that doesn't fly up too high and have it patrol or move maneuver around a bit. So that works out pretty well. So this experiment was to see why my ship wasn't able to pick up unknown signals in the time lapse series in Europa, but honestly it didn't really solve any of that because it just didn't seem to work. So not sure what happened with that one. Maybe I have to go on an offline mode to check to see if it's going to work or not. But once again, this was a quick little experiment on the try with drones with autopilot. So eventually I can control them to do certain things. Um, if you guys know a better way to control these drones for autopilot, maybe there's a script out there. Let me know in the comments down below because I really want to start utilizing drones a little bit more and make it work out pretty well. So yeah, um, if you guys can share that, that'll be awesome. And of course, thank you guys for watching. I'm going to go back and work on some more time lapse for you guys. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.